can see that it's shiny because that's my reflection over there. Hi guys, it's Rika from Pepper and welcome to another episode of Food Hacks Not by Pepper. Today we're making Big Al's Decadent Chocolate Cake. So a lot of you have been asking for this recipe from us and while we still don't have a food hack for it, I'm gonna try making a recipe from another person I found on the internet and then we'll try to see if they come close. Okay, so the recipe that I'm using today is from this blog called Casa Arcelia. They're the first entry that you see when you Google Big Al's chocolate cake recipe. She referenced another recipe that makes this cake from Sweet Temptations on YouTube. This is following the ingredients of Casa Arcelia, but following the method of Sweet Temptations on YouTube. So first thing we're gonna do is mix all of our dry ingredients. So that's flour, cocoa powder, baking soda, salt. And then, this is gonna be weird, sugar is technically a wet ingredient, but we're gonna add it here with our dry ingredients. So I'm just gonna give that a mix now. I'm gonna set that aside. Then we're gonna mix our wet ingredients. So for our wet ingredients, I have here oil. I'm gonna crack my two eggs into the bowl with oil. You can already crack your eggs first and whisk it to break the yolk. Next, we have sarkin. Vinegar, white vinegar, and vanilla. And then I'm gonna mix this. Okay. Ooh, okay, now it looks like it's combined. So we'll just pour our wet ingredients into the bowl with the dry ingredients. I'm gonna do this slowly just so it doesn't spill. Once you have everything mostly combined, we're gonna add our last ingredient, which is hot water. So we're doing 200 ml. The hot water isn't really mixing. Maybe I should have added it before. Yeah, it says once mixed, add the hot water. I'm just gonna mix it until everything looks fudgy and cake battery. Just like in Big Al's, I have this aluminum foil container. I'm not sure how big this is. It's this big. It's my hand. And it's like a finger. So you just transfer our cake batter into the camera mode. Precarious situation. Okay. We're gonna put this in the oven. I've had the oven preheating the whole time I've been doing this. So we're gonna put it in the oven for 20-30 minutes. So while the cake is baking, we're gonna go ahead and make our glaze. Before we go to the stove, we're gonna mix everything here. So I have cream, whipping cream, a can of condensed milk, a cup of cocoa powder. Again, I sifted this already. And then vanilla and two tablespoons of butter. Combine everything and then we just finish this in the stove. So welcome to my stove. So I have my burner at the low, and then you want to keep whisking continuously. The longer that you leave this on the stove, the thicker it's gonna be. I personally want it a little bit in the middle, so I'm gonna try to get it to that place. So keep whisking, whisking for about five to ten minutes depending on how thick you want your glaze to be. So once you're happy with the consistency of your glaze, 
You can take it off the heat and then just pour it on your cake. And that's it. So finally, here is how. Still hot. Here is our chocolate cake. And all that's left to do is pour our glaze. I'm just gonna. Oh, okay. Just let it slide wherever it wants to go. This is a lot of glaze for not a lot of cake. Here we have it. Now it's time to taste the cake. Who will shine? Okay, look. I love it. It's so moist. Moist. Parang. Accuracy. It's not quite there. I feel like this is still a very homemade version and not like up to par with what they sell in Big Al's. I'm gonna give it um 80% accuracy rate. I think it's there, but not quite. Actually really good, just not the same as Big Al's. But really good nonetheless. If you want to try it, tap the link in our bio or click the link in the description for the recipe. The camera is falling again. Maybe if I just do like this, it's not going to be. Like, subscribe, do all of that stuff. Tell us what else you want to see from us and see you next time. Bye!